Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we're going to be looking at AMT Ertl's 1996 Corvette Convertible. So this is a really fun model kit and without further ado, let's go down to the bench and see what's in the box. 1996 marked the last year for the C4 generation Corvette and today we're going to be looking at this amazing AMT Ertl 50th anniversary 1996 Corvette convertible. This is a skill level 2 kit for ages 10 and up and molded in beautiful 125th scale. On this side of the box you can see the amazing three-quarter shot of the 1996 Corvette convertible as well as the images up above. So we got our 53, our 63, our 73, our 83 and our 96 right there. Now remember everybody the hobby is fun so share it with a new builder today. All right on this side of the box we have the interior shot the engine shot and the side view of our Corvette. This is a skill level 2 moderate kit so it's good to go from snap to moderate to challenging. But right here we're in moderate. For ages 10 and up you will need glue. You will need paint. Are you ready to build it? Let's find out. So do you think we should rip the lid off this box and see what's inside? Yeah I think so too. So let's do that. Here we've got our Corvette body our instructions we also have our chrome parts a 50th anniversary collector card set and actually that's like a promo thing and then we've got all our gray plastic components our tires and our glass this is danny the dog with a very important question for generation x and that is who let the dogs out woof 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 who let the dogs out woof 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 all right, enough of that. Let's get into these Corvette instruction sheets. So here we have our Corvette instruction sheet for our 96 Corvette convertible. And you've seen this image on other AMT Corvette kits. It's basically the same. Still looks good though. And now Trevor has some fingers on his hands. So he's going to type in this stuff into that description box in the video. But basically it says for 1996 Chevrolet again gives the Corvette aficionado the type of person who follows the history of this fabulous marquee another special collector edition. So here it is. First collector series was offered in 82 and now we got another. So down further in the instruction sheet here Trevor just pushed this up with his hand with the fingers on it. Okay fingers yeah you try typing stuff in with paws. All right, anyway, we've got this important read this first right here and the building tips for the advanced modeler. And then we've also got the parts that you're going to see and the tools you're going to need to build the kit. So here we're showing step one, and this is our engine assembly. And here we've got our right and left hand side engine block being glued together, the transmission plate, which glues underneath and our oil pan. Now, a lot of people are saying that, uh, they really appreciate me showing all these different instructions because sometimes people lose their instructions. So we here at Monster Hobbies are always happy to help and show you what you might be missing. All right, moving right along, we can now glue our cylinder heads onto the engine block. We've got our intake manifold and we've also got our injection plenum. And then here we've got our water pump and front cover and the starter motor. This is interesting. In the chassis assembly, figure 4B, the upper and lower radiator hoses will locate at the water pump front cover as shown here. Woohoo! So, uh, where are we going here? Anyway, there they are. Uh, you can check that out. And in panel 1C here, you can add on your nice valve covers, your injector shields, and then the left and right exhaust manifolds. In panel 1D, we have our air conditioning compressor unit going together and our belts and pulleys, the alternator and the power steering reservoir. All this will glue onto the front of that engine. So now we have our wheel assembly and you know what? I haven't actually chewed on any tires in these videos in a very long time, even though that was supposed to be my shtick. Anyway, um, so what we have are the directional Goodyear Eagle tires. Remember that the rotations they actually say left and right on the tires, so you'll know which way to go. So then we can pop in our wheel in there. We've got our wheel retainer and the wheel back. You want to do this in the front and down here is the rear. 
Here we've got our interior assembly and again we've got our wonderful dashboard, looks like a 96 version. We've got our steering wheel, we also have our grip for our gear shift lever and our bucket seats which drop into this wonderful interior pan. Panel 4 is our chassis assembly. Here you can see the chassis pan and then we've got our control arms left and right going into our rear axle with the drive shaft and the leaf spring mount and then we've got our control rod in the back and our front suspension with the rack and pinion steering up front. Hey, if I sound a little crazy it's because today I'm off the leash. In panel 4 we can see our engine being dropped into the chassis assembly and then there's those radiator hoses, remember what it showed before on the front timing cover. And we have our upper and lower and our two-piece radiator and all this goes right on that chassis. Panel 4 seat basically finishes our chassis assembly. We've got our spare tire carrier, it goes on the back and then our exhaust pipes and mufflers. We also have our front brace oil cooler and the torque arm and then the cross member goes on the top. Remember, the star is the first thing you put on, and then it goes two, three, four, five, six, and hey, there's no number for this cross brace. I want my money back. Now in panel 4D, it says place a small amount of cement in the hole of the axle retainer and press the assembled wheels onto the axles. Be very careful not to cement on the surrounding parts or the wheels will not rotate. And I fully agree. You want your wheels to spin on this so it'll roll right off the shelf. In panel 5B we get our body assembly and it says note to get an even color match we recommend taping the hood and nose panel in place on the outside of the body and painting as a unit. The tape can be removed later and any touch up painting can be done. Allow outside of body to thoroughly dry before painting details and inside of body. That's a good idea, nobody wants to grab wet paint do they? I've done that once. A oh, bad dog. Okay, so we've got our body here, and then we put our hood on and our nose panel. Tape it all in place, paint everything, pull off your hood and nose panel, and paint all this semi-gloss black in here. You have the option also of putting on these side rocker panels. Okay, here's something about the hood, which was a industry secret up until now. But at any rate, you uh, add on these inner fenders here and your hood hinges. The hood hinges allow you to open up the hood, in case you didn't know. Now panel 5C shows our taillights being put in. There's a hole here and a little pin there. Little pin, little hole, little glue, and it all go together. Panel 5D is showing our coolant recovery tank being glued onto our heater. And we have our battery dropping in place. Our master cylinder goes right there. And then we've got a rear view mirror which goes right up here. And then we put our windshield in. Or maybe you might want to put the windshield in first. Um, and then you get your interior assembly and you pop it right up inside. You see these little tabs? They go into those little holes. And there's a little tab in the back. And there's a little like claw in here. The claw knows everything. Panel 6 shows our body being glued onto the chassis. Hey, are you guys finding these videos helpful? If so, just put a paw on that like button and press really hard. The more times you like this video, the better it gets out there on YouTube. So throw a dog a bone and click that like button. Now in panel 6 we got all these little teeny tiny parts. These are always the most difficult for me because again, I don't have fingers. Okay, so you put your computer box in here. Your ASR module goes in up against the firewall it looks like. And then we've got our windshield washer reservoir which goes right in that little spot there. And our AC line dryer and hose which goes all the way up and then you bend down here and you go right in there. Now in panel 6 it says carefully align the hood assembly onto the body chassis assembly and cement the nose panel in place. Be very careful not to get cement on the surrounding parts and hood hinges or the hood assembly will not open and close. Now I've found this to be a difficult hood assembly especially on the 86 Corvette. It uh, didn't quite want to line up on one of the sides. So if you've had that problem, let us know in the comments down below. Okay, so we got our hood assembly, which hooks on the little hooks there, hook on these little bars. Then our nose panel glues over top so you don't see those little bars in the hook. Then you got your turn signals and front turn signals, side and front. They go in there and these actually loop around. And then we've got a decal which goes on the back. That's our license plate. And then the optional up top with the glass 
And here we have a nice side view of our Corvette. Now this is supposed to show us where the decals go, but uh, I don't think this kit really has many decals. However, you could photocopy this and then give it to a kid to color with some crayons. Thank you for watching this video up to this point. It really means a lot to us. And if you're enjoying these great model cars, we want to offer you a special promo code where you can save a little bit off your next purchase at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Just enter the promo code YouTube so that we know that you watched this video on this channel and then got interested enough in our model cars to maybe pick up a few. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, here we are looking at our parts. And as you can see, we've got our wonderful Corvette convertible body right here. One thing that I did notice is the side scoop actually looks like the 1996 scoop. See? Check that out. That seems to have been kind of a problem with some of the earlier AMT kits of this uh, C4 generation. Oh, look on the back. It says 1994 in there. <laughs> Should be saying 96. That's right out of the box. AMT, what are you doing? Okay, there's this sunken in Corvette uh, nameplate on the back as well as the rear tail lamp. We do have our rectangular lights there. There is a lot of uh, seam and mold marks coming up in here. So you're gonna have to sand those out. Look at the top here. We've got the really cool sun visors. Those are cool. Yeah. You know, you could hinge them, make them come down. Anyway, if you're a model builder expert. So we've got some wires under here heading to our headlamps, which is nice. You can always detail paint those. We got the Corvette name stuck in the front license plate shroud again. There's those wraparound front turn signals. Again, this is very much like it should be, even though the plate at the back says 94. But uh, that's the right scoop again. We got the door handles and the side mirrors molded onto the windshield frame. Now I'm looking for mold marks. Do you see any? I think there's a few up underneath. There's one here and there and up under the bumper. You want to get rid of those so that everything fits nicely. Overall though, this is another great, wonderful C4 generation Corvette. Here we have the chassis for our Corvette kit. And hey, Danny, because I got fingers, I can actually pick this up and bring it into the camera. All right, all right, don't rub it in. Well, you're the one that brought it up. I know. <sighs> Danny. Okay, anyway, so there's our underpan and you can see all the ridges in there. Again, a nice little piece. We have seen this on this channel a few times already uh, on earlier Corvettes. So it's nice to see this part back with basically no flash. There are some mold marks right there and there and back there and there. So you can always get rid of those with your number 16 hobby blade. Danny, you know you're my dog, right? Yeah, I know I'm your dog, dog. Yeah, exactly. All right, so here we got this parts tree and we have our interior tub here and we also have mold marks in there. And then we've got our seats and our steering wheel, our shift lever, lever, louver. And then we also have the hood underneath. This one's nice because it's got that fiberglass mat in there, but there are some mold marks. There's the front of the hood, the little cover. We also have our hinges and our dashboard. Now, all you can really see here is the interior and uh, that's because the rest is upside down. So we've got our door locks in there. And look at that, that's just really nice. I like that, that's my friend. Okay, now turning this over, you can see again that wonderful instrument panel. You can listen to uh, Ace of Bass on there if you want. So there's our hood and you can see that wonderful Corvette emblem in there, the flip up lights. Maybe you could listen to Aqua as well. And then uh, there's our steering wheel. Let's get that into focus. You can see the Corvette emblem in the center. And then look at those wonderful seats. Really excellent stuff. Perfect car representing 1996. All right, let's get into the rest of the parts here. We've got this wonderful parts tree, which shows our engine block and the uh, fans and the radiator. And then our plenum and the uh, underneath the fender skirt things for under the hood. Wow, I'm falling apart. Okay, yeah, let's just bring this up to the camera. Okay, so there's our rear leaf springs. And again, you can see just how wonderful they are. Not a lot of flash going on in the kit, and that's really good. There's those wheel backs moving along. We got our valve covers and, of course, all our little under hood details and goodies. And those, the inner fender aprons. Look at the uh, detail on the plenum. That's really, really good. 
I'm going to turn this over. You can see the fans on the back of the radiator. Dual electric fans keep this thing nice and cool. And there's the serpentine belt. You know, I do remember in high school, I, I think it's an earlier Corvette, but somebody did bring one into our high school's uh, mechanic shop and all his kids got to pour over it and take a look at how cool it was. That was really a good times. So these kits parts again are really excellent. So I'll give them a top mark. Now here on this parts tree, you can marvel at how many pieces are on here. Somehow I have a feeling that there would be custom parts in here from some earlier Corvettes that have been blocked off, but that's okay. We got what we need to build this one. So there's our two exhaust uh, mufflers and pipes set up. And then we've got our cross brace. We also have our tire cover. We've got our drive shaft and the little drive shaft support. And then those look like our upper and lower radiator hoses. Again, uh, fairly simplistic detailing on these parts, but you don't really need them too complex. Mold marks in here, but again, always able to remove them. The lack of flash is really nice. Now here I thought I'd just double up on the parts trees. Double your pleasure. Okay, so we've got our wheels right there. These ones you can paint color key to match the body or paint them white or whatever you want to do. We got the custom side pipes and then our front suspension. There's our up top and then we also have our cross brace here for the convertible. So let's just take a look at the top for a moment. Now you can see the nice textured detail in that rough, rough. Now I'm talking like Danny. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then we also have the uh, mold marks. Hey, I heard that. Sorry, Danny. We've got these mold marks you got to get rid of. And then we got that cross brace there. So again, really nice work by AMT. They're my friends. How about you? All right, Danny, check this out. We got the bling bling. Yeah, that's right. Chrome plated wheels and intake manifolds and plenum bits, front timing cover, and a bunch of other little goodies in here. These things are really awesome, eh? Okay, bring this up to the camera lens for the audience. Check out those wheels, aren't they nice? They got the uh, five wheel lugs in there, as well as the Corvette emblem right dead center, right out of Compton. And then if we turn this over, you can also see our pipes and everything for that air conditioning unit. Again, really excellent bling bling for my homies. We're from 1998, man. And here we have the components which make up our clear parts. Oh, Trevor, I know what you're doing. I can see right through your plans. <laughs> Come on, Danny. All right, so we got our windshield and our back glass as well as these turn signal lights. These are supposed to be painted with a smoke color. Smoke. And then we also have our two red tail lamps. Look at these tail lamps. Just look at them. They are a work of pure AMT art. Chevrolet at its finest. You can't get any better than that right there. And here we've got our Goodyear Eagle directional tires. There's two heights to these. So the first one is the tall tires for the back and then the lower ones for the front. Now we can just put these on their side and see the difference. There it is. That's the difference that quality makes. Just a little bit wider, not too much. So make sure you've got the uh, right ones in the right location. Now, speaking of right location, these are directional tires. And you know, if you spin them around and around and everything, you could lose your direction quite easily. So always make sure that you read the side because somewhere on here in the very fine print, it will say left and it will show two little arrows right there. I found it. See right there, right where my finger is right there. So you want to make sure that those arrows are sticking to the outside of the car and that the directions between front and back are all the same. Here we have our license plate decals. These are the only decals in the kit. So you get these wonderful New Mexico 96 TZ decals and you also get a 50th anniversary Corvette license plate decal. Hey Trevor, how come in this video we're being all silly? Well, Danny, that's easy. It's because We've seen so many of these Corvette C4 videos and they're almost all the same model in the box. So I thought we'd just uh, goof it up a little bit on our last video of the uh, C4 Corvettes. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at our AMT Ertl 1996 Corvette convertible. And if you really love watching these great videos, don't forget to tune in every Friday at the same time so you can see another great unboxing video. 
And if you want to catch up to where we are, check out all the other unboxing videos that I have on my channel by looking in the video section down below. So if you really love these videos, this is your thing. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this channel with all your friends and family. Tune in every Friday and until next time, happy model building.